generational wealth will be created in the next six months by investors getting in on cheap stocks that are going to skyrocket a thousand percent, ten thousand percent, or more. Okay, guys, we have seen this before. We saw this in 2010. If you would have bought these stocks at the bottom of the market in 2010, you would have made 10 times, 20 times, even a hundred times your money within just a few years. Guys, like I just wrote this book, 10 Bagger Blueprint, so that you can prepare to build your fortune in the new bull market that is about to start. What is this book about? A 10 bagger, in case you don't know, is a Wall Street term. It means stocks where you make 10 times your money, 10x, right? Now, in the last couple of years, I've given investors just like you 10 stocks that increase between 1,000 and 5,000% in way too many doubles, triples, 5xers to count. And you know what? Over the course of my career, 25 years on Wall Street, I have given investors like you stocks which have created over a trillion dollars in wealth that's right stocks that increase 10x to 100x i've only had a couple of hundred baggers but i've had countless countless 10 baggers in this book 10 bagger blueprint you can get on amazon you're going to learn everything you need to know so that you are prepared to profit look luck is preparation meets opportunity a couple of years from now people will be saying that you got lucky no you did not get lucky you were prepared because you read 10 bagger blueprint you knew what to look for. You knew what the 10 bagger window was. You knew what asymmetrical setups were. You knew how to get in and also how to get out of stocks, stocks right before they peak. And this is what exactly you're going to learn 10 bagger blueprint. Now, guys, look, I have no courses to sell you. This is not some sort of get rich quick scheme. The book is only you know, $14.95 on Amazon. Uh, you know, this is I'm not in the business of selling books. The business I mean is the business of stock promotion, okay? And I'm the best at it in the world. I help companies which are undervalued, underdiscovered, connect with millions of investors worldwide. As a result, those stocks go up because of the increased demand. Now, I want to tell you about a stock which I believe could be uh, one of my next 10 baggers. Okay, I'm going to give you right now a sneak preview of a stock which I believe could be a 10x in the next couple of months. Investors ask, okay, which stock right now? is kind of the best example of you know something that could be potentially a 10 bagger and i tell them next tech n-e-x-c-f is that symbol so let's break it down let's go kind of analyze next tech based on the 10 bagger blueprint now by the way for those of you that might be new to watching this uh next tech is a stock that we originally introduced as wall street reporters next super stock right next super stock is kind of those are that's our sort of platform for you know the stocks that you know we think are have the best chance of becoming 10 baggers that have all the key qualities which you know these uh, these 10 parts are 10 steps excuse me uh and um we introduced it at 50 cents it went to seven dollars and 50 cents in about 10 months right so uh it was a 1200 percent increase uh now i got involved with next tech again back in april uh, and the stock has actually been outperforming the market. Like this has been a brutal year for tech stocks. Most tech stocks are down 75, I'm looking right now, 90% even. That's right, 90% in many cases, especially those stocks that ran up with the COVID. And Next Tech was kind of considered a COVID stock uh, to, to some degree. And Next Tech has actually held on to its gains. Those other stocks are down 90%. So what is Next Tech doing right? Let's go through these, these uh, 10 steps of the 10 bagger blueprint, okay? So, again, the, the, the idea is we're looking for stocks which meet these 10 success factors, right? And you can even rank these uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 if you want to kind of be mathematical about it. And, you know, I guess 100 would be a perfect score. Uh, you, you guys can keep score, okay? So, number one. Uh, number one thing we look for is big market opportunity and a great story. So, big market opportunity, I'm looking for something which has, you know, multi-multi-billion dollar market opportunity, which basically gives the company potentially there should be a, a legitimate runway for the stock to become a you know a billion to reach to a billion dollar plus valuation right we're looking for companies which have you know maybe a 10 million 100 million valuation and potentially there's a, a, a real runway for them to become billion dollar companies right so in order to do that you really need to have in order to get to a billion valuation you really need to have a hundred million in revenues plus I mean if you're gonna have big multiples or you have something really incredible so is the market big enough to support that in next tech's case yes plus the other thing we look for is the market has to be fast growing it's a it's got to be an exploding market and that is exactly where next tech is right now because 
what, what's their business? Essentially, they are helping the e-commerce industry, which is already five trillion. That's right. E-commerce is a five trillion dollar industry. Now, they call me the trillion dollar man because I've helped create over a trillion dollars in shareholder value, but e-commerce is five times bigger than me, right? Now, it took me a long time to create that value. E-commerce does that every year. So five trillion dollars is the global e-commerce industry. And there's a mega trend going on right now. Here is where the growth is coming from. Not only is e-commerce growing, but they're all shifting to Web3, 3D models. And that is what Next Tech does. Next Tech creates these 3D product models, which you're now starting to see. You're, you're just starting to see it right now pop up on the internet. Next Tech is the company that, that creates those at scale, right? So if you have a thousand, you have 500 products, whatever it is, you got to you can't do it yourself. You got to go to Next Tech and Next Tech makes those 3D models for you. Uh, and they're doing it for Amazon. That's right, Amazon. So Amazon just gave them a seven million dollar order. And we're, by the way, the, we're just, the game hasn't even begun. Next Tech is not even in the first inning right now, and they're already getting a seven million dollar order from Amazon, which is the leader. By the way, that is massive validation. Okay, so Amazon doesn't just give. I mean, not, forget about fifty thousand dollars. More seven million dollars. I mean, they're not going to give that type of order. Unless you know they really, really believe in that company, because that's a that's a lot of money, okay. And a Amazon is very—I mean, those guys are—they run a very tight ship. This is not some, you know, some Mickey Mouse company, right? Super, super organized. Okay, so number one, massive opportunity. There is a path for Next Tech to potentially get to a hundred million, right? So you know, they're doing, uh, let's say, Amazon is seven million. They pick up a couple more contracts, twenty-five million. I believe they can exit uh, this year uh, at twenty-five million, twenty twenty-three. I'm talking about. Uh, and you know they could get a big, big multiple on that, but but there's more to the story. Now uh, and after that, they could go to you know 50, 100. There is, I believe, a path for Next Tech to hit 100 million revenues in probably two years. It's not going to happen in the first year. Maybe two, maybe three years. But the market is forward looking. The market is forward looking. Okay, so you know the maximum value is going to be achieved. Not, not in three years, it's gonna happen now, okay? And I talk about that in the book. It's something called the 10-bagger window. What is the 10-bagger window? Basically, it's the moment in time, where if you look at any stock that has gone up 1,000%, 10,000%, whatever it is, right? The, 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 the fattest part of those gains, if you look at the chart, if you look at any of those charts that have gone up you know, a million, whatever it is, the bulk of those profits happen in a very tight period of time. Those stocks are consolidating, consolidating, then all of a sudden they break out and you know, those massive gains happen in a, in a very short period of time. Usually, you know, anywhere from four weeks to eight weeks, 12 weeks. It's, it's a month to three months, okay? I believe Next Tech is, is going into that 10-bagger window right now, okay? And, and one of those things is going to be the Apple AR Glass. I'm going to mention that in just a second. So, uh, number one, a market opportunity and story. Uh, uh, on a scale of one to 10, I would rank Next Tech a... I'd give it a 10. I'd give it a 10, okay? Um... Catalyst. Okay, uh, one thing we look for is um, we gotta have multiple catalysts in place, which can drive the stock price. So there's gotta be multiple things in it, multiple shots on goal. You know, as Wayne Gretzky would say, things which can drive the stock price, which can trigger, you know, a, a massive run of you know, I don't know, three uh, uh, x, five x, ten x, right? But when you add all up all those catalysts together, then it, it becomes a massive train reaction. Okay. One catalyst is good, but when you have multiple catalysts, again, it's a chain reaction. You have this atomic explosion. So, catalyst for Next Tech number one is I believe they're going to have multiple. You know, they're going to have more new contracts announced of these. Uh, you know, three D models for big e commerce companies. We already know. We, I mean, I think Evan has hinted a few of them. So, those are known catalysts already. So, we know a little bit about them. So, when those things happen, I think the stock will pop, but it's not going to be huge. Okay, so if Next Tech announces, okay, we got Walmart or Target. Um, the market is kind of expecting it. They don't quite believe it. And by the way, in the book, 10 Bag Blueprint, I talk about the different types of catalysts and known catalysts. There's a lot, a lot of nuances here. So uh, I think the stock will pop, but th those things are not going to be the things that are going to drive the stock to, you know, five to ten dollars, right? So there's more things in there. Uh, number two, which I think is a big catalyst, which is Apple uh, AR glasses, uh, which when that announcement comes. Uh, again, I believe there's going to be a frenzy for pure play AR stocks, best in breed AR stocks, and that's Next Tech, by the way. How do we know this? It's not me saying it, it's Amazon telling you. If Amazon gives somebody a $7 million order to do 3D models, you know, AR stuff, it tells you something, okay? That's proof. 
uh, number three I'm looking for. So on a catalyst, I give Next Tech a, um, I would say nine out of 10. I'm not gonna give them perfect 10 because we already know some of the catalysts. By the way, nine out of 10 is still, it's incredible, right? So it's incredible. But I'm not gonna give it 10 out of 10 because, you know, for a 10 out of 10, they'd have to have like, you know, some, uh, you know, incredible, incredible thing like, you know, uh, cure for cancer, you know, uh, something like that. Okay, uh, traction, uh, number three that we look for, traction. Has the company demonstrated, okay, is the company for real? Have they demonstrated product market fit, right? Yes, we already know this. How would, how do we know this? Again, I, I give you the Amazon order. I give you other multiple, you know, these other contracts that they have. It tells you that the market likes what they are selling. Uh, on traction, I would give it a, um, I'd give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten only because um, if you have massive traction, you know, to get a ten, you'd have to have like contract after contract after contract. So in other words, if they get uh, Walmart and Target, hopefully in a couple months, less, then I would say okay, it's a ten out of ten for traction. But by the way, it's good that it's only an eight right now because you're getting the stock cheaper. If it was a 10, the stock would be already much higher. Uh, okay, number four, inflection point. I am huge on the inflection point. Again, the inflection point, what is this? That is that is the moment when that stock hits that you know exponential growth phase when it enters that 10 bagger window. Again, you know, we don't want, you know, we don't want the, the labor pain. We want the baby, not the labor pains. We want the baby unicorn, right? We don't want the egg. We want the baby unicorn, right? Or I don't know if that metaphor is correct. Uh, and uh, speaking of baby unicorns, the next tech is popping out baby unicorns right now. By the way, that was our thesis about two years ago when we introduced it. I said, look, there's going to be spin, there's massive spin out potential here and they're doing it now. You know, we talked about it then. Nobody really understood it then. Nobody believed it. It's happening now. One of their spin outs, ARY, ARWY is the symbol in Canada, went up 10x. That's right, 10x. If you own Next Tech, you would have gotten that as a dividend. Uh, I think you would have got it, was, it came out to about 4%, I believe, something like that. And so you'd have gotten shares of ARY, and that stock went up 10x. And Next Tech has a couple more of these baby unicorns that they're going to be potentially spinning out. The CEO has hinted about that. But you know what? I'm sorry. I should have told you that. By the way, the catalyst, the baby unicorn spinouts, the other potential spinouts, those are some of the catalysts also. I think that when they hit, um, when they spin out the next one, there's gonna be a frenzy for the stock because investors all of a sudden, you know, right now, a lot of people don't quite believe the story, but when Next Tech spins out the next uh, baby unicorn, then the market's gonna have that aha moment. They're gonna have that aha moment and say, wow, they've seen the light. This is the unicorn factory. And uh, you know, look, if if you actually do the math, I mean, this is a, this stock is basically a dividend stock. It's a high yielding dividend stock. If you if you kind of add up, you know, the, the value of the dividend spin out, so it's going to be very very exciting. And by the way, that creates a lot of blue sky potential because you know, Next Tech is still holds a piece of those baby unicorns. As those baby unicorns, it, it is a, it, it's it's that flywheel effect. It's very exciting. So you know what? I apologize. I forgot about the baby unicorns. So for Catalyst, I'm gonna give next that I'm gonna give it a ten. It's a ten. They get a full ten uh, for Catalyst. Um, uh, infle inflection point now. Okay. So are they at the ten bagger window? Is there one way for the stock to increase two x to three x just in the first thirty days? Right. Uh, and obviously 10x later, but yeah, I believe there is. Okay, so there's multiple catalysts. Uh, again, we're looking for potential contracts. We're looking for you know potential spinouts. Here is the thing about this company, and I'm going to talk about this more is, is in the next thing, which is the CEO quality. You know, I'll, I'll actually stay tuned. I'll, I'll address this in just a second. But yeah, it, it, this company is always delivering upside surprises. Again, you need to have that CEO that delivers upside surprises. So I'll get to that in a second. So are they at the inflection point? Yes, yes, I would give Next Tech a, on a scale of one to 10, I'd give them maybe an 11 for inflection point because they're already in the window. They're in the 10 bagger window. They're proving it. It's valid, the market, it's, you see it happening before your own eyes. They got the baby unicorn spin out, number one happened. They got the Amazon deal, or the market's already forgotten about that, okay, which is, you know, this is how it works, okay. Um, so it's happening right now. Uh, what we're waiting for is, the Apple AR glasses announced, and I believe that is going to be the massive trigger for it to drive attention to AR space. And again, money flows where attention goes. Money flows where attention goes. Um, I got that line from Grant Cardone, you know, the guy on the internet. I, I heard that line. Wow, this is genius. So I'm going to steal that line, Grant. If you're watching this, thank you. Um, 
And uh, again, and by the way, you know, I think Grant thing is the 10x. We have 100x. Yeah, 10x. We're doing 100, 100 baggers, 100 baggers. Okay. So, um, look, uh, inflection point. Yes, it's happening right now. We're in the 10 bagger window. They got the catalyst. Everything is starting to happen right now. Uh, number five, CEO quality. This is the most important thing, guys. CEO quality. I cannot. I can't talk about this enough. And by the way, in the book, I have a whole chapter talking about CEO quality. I go through everything you need. Because look, you can have the best company in the world, greatest story, but if the CEO is a mooch bum, that stock is gonna go nowhere. We have seen stocks with great stories just disintegrate because they didn't have the guy who knows what he's doing. Uh, you don't have to worry about that with Next because this guy, I, I tell I, in the book, I say, look, if you wanna find a stock which has a 100 bagger potential, don't look for the 100 bagger stock. Look for the 100 bagger CEO. And that, my friends, is the CEO of Nextech, Evan Gappelberg. This guy is the 100 bagger CEO. Pick up my book, 10 Bagger Blueprint, which explains what are the qualities of the um, the 100 bagger CEO, okay? And I got a couple of videos floating around. But yeah, on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, to rank them in CEO quality, they get a, maybe a 12. I would say 12 uh, because okay, I'm, I'm slightly... I'm slightly exaggerating, only slightly, because again, guys, look, this is not my first rodeo, okay? I've, I've worked with thousands, thousands, that's right, Wall Street Reporter. We have worked with thousands of companies in, uh, you know, the last, since 1997, okay? We've been online since 97. We were the first guys doing CEO interviews. We've interviewed literally thousands of companies. We had three studios at one point doing like uh, 20 CEO interviews a day, New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, et cetera. Look, I, I've met them all, right? Uh, and the Wall Street Reporter, the name go, is the oldest brand in the world, 1843, right? So 180 years we're going to be in the business. Look, this guy, in my opinion, again, I, I, you know, I'm, all, I'm only doing this 25 plus years. I, you know, Wall Street Reporter is 180 years. I, I only have 25 years experience. I've met thousands of CEOs. I would tell you, look, this guy is, I would say, the in the top 1.001 percentile, top 1 percentile. I've said before. The, Evan Gappelberg is the Elon Musk of the micro cap space. Fact. End of story. Okay. Look, I, again, I don't want to insult. I have other clients, you know, who, you know, I don't want to say this guy's the best. Okay. It, it's, uh, you know, the, I love all, all your other guys, but, you know, this guy is the best. And, you know, it's it's very important that we that we have him in the, the Wall Street Reporter system because, look, one of the things that, that, that happens is that, uh, you know, uh, when you have a winning team, it, it kind of elevates everybody else. When you have these companies, when you have this type of leadership, it, everybody else steps up their game. If, by the way, guys, if you notice companies when they're on our platform, they usually produce their best performance. If you look at some of the past, you know, stocks that increased 10x, 20x, when those companies, you look at the before and after, you look at their charts, when they joined the Wall Street Portal platform, they delivered their best performance. News flow, everything was at their best, at their peak. You know why? Because they they needed to compete with like you know they had a superstar on their team. It's sort of like uh, this guy Tom Brady, right? You know you you, you bring a guy like Tom Brady into uh, that team, right? The uh, what they call the um, whatever team. I don't follow football. I, I'm just reading. I just I, I just know what I'm reading. Okay. When you bring that guy onto a team, everybody else elevates their game. Every other guy elevates the game. Even the guys are really good, it elevates their game. It's like the other guy, LeBron, whatever. You guys don't know, if you guys follow sports, you know what I'm talking about, right? So I would say, look, when you have Evan as part of our stable, every other CEO, it, it forces them to elevate their game. At the same time, some guys, it keeps them out because they, they can't handle it. They can't handle competing, you know, with, you know, they can't, they don't, they don't feel like they can elevate their game. So that's that's just the way it is. But anyway, on a, on a, on a uh, CEO quality, uh, they get like a twelve out of ten. Valuation, okay. Uh, it, you know, we want to buy stocks that are trading at a. We want to get into them at a discount of like fifty percent uh, to their peer group. So um, again, you know, I believe in this idea of, of built-in profits. It's very important to have a built-in profit when you buy one of these penny stocks. So what does that mean? Look, if the peer group is trading at you know I don't know ten times the revenues. We're looking for a stock that's trading at 5x revenues. So next tech, what is there? Okay, so the valuation is interesting because there's not a lot of comps right now. Um, you know, the valuation, it, it's kind of interesting. It's not a cheap valuation right now. It's really not. I'll be very candid. So on valuation, I would give next tech a, uh, I'd give it a six. I'm going to give it a six because, you know, I like things which are dirt cheap because I'm a cheapskate. Next tech is about a six. The problem is this. The problem is 
you know, is that, um, you know, if you look at stocks through the, a cheapskate lens, you also miss out on some opportunities, which, you know, because, you know, they're good, they already trade at higher valuations. That's why I've missed out, quite frankly, on a couple of stocks that have become massive winners. I missed out on Tesla. I missed out on, you know, a couple of them because, you know, I was like, uh, you know, I'm, I wanna, I'm using the, the value investor method. So sometimes you miss out. Uh, but yeah, next tech is basically trading. They're trading at a discount uh, to valuation compared to a lot of companies, but it's not dirt cheap by any means. So I'm only giving it like a five or six on valuation. Um, now, number seven, theme sector heat. Uh, is this company part of a hot sector? Why is this so important? It's very, very important. Hang on a second, let me just type this in here. Okay, uh, why is this uh, very important? to be part of a hot sector, a rising tide lifts all boats. Look, um, a stock, you know, if their core business is doing great, you know, let's say a stock can go up, can be a triple, right? But if it's part of a hot theme, it could be a three times that. It basically a hot theme will multi, will give it a uh, extra turbocharger by a factor of three X. Uh, and uh, look, we saw this happen with uh, other sectors, right? Now, here's the thing. Right now, the AR space, AR Web3 space, uh, it is not hot yet. It's not hot yet. It's going to become very hot, I believe, once Apple announces uh, their AR glasses. And then AR is going to become one of the hot themes of 2023, if not the theme. Okay, investors are desperate to get in on the grand floor of the next theme. So when Apple drops the glasses, onto the market, uh, I believe the AR theme is gonna explode. Now, uh, the AR theme, I would say, um, right now, it's, it's the market's pretty lukewarm, uh, to put it mildly. So right now, on the theme, I would give it like a, oof. Um, it's, it's early. Again, we, we, we wanna get into these things before, before they heat up. Again, you gotta be like Wayne Gretzky. You can't chase after the puck. You can't do the FOMO. You gotta get in before, before, the uh, the theme heats up. So right now that theme is uh, it's cold, right? The theme is cold. I would give it a, the theme maybe a three. It, it's because the theme it hasn't heated up yet. Um, so it, the beautiful thing is, it, next deck has all those other qualities. Right now we're just waiting for the theme to heat up. Once that theme heats up, whatever next deck delivers, the market's going to amplify by a factor of three x, I believe. So I think. Without the hot theme, you know, Next Tech probably has a path to becoming a, you know, two fifty five dollar stock. Okay, and by the way, there's an analyst report from H. C. Wainwright, a couple of other analysts. You know, they're all saying, okay, two fifty, that's the price target, whatever it is, right? Um, and, and they go through all their numbers, whatever. Okay, you know, whatever, right? The way I'm looking at this, yeah, I think Next Tech could be, you know, based on numbers, based on delivering, you know, the fundamentals, could be a three dollar stock, right? But when you take the hot theme into account of the AR space, that's gonna be the trigger to give it a 3X boost. So I believe it could be a $10 plus number on that stock. $10 plus is the potential. I'm, again, not making price projections, not representing it's gonna go anywhere. It's high risk stock, it can go to zero, it can go to less than zero. Remember what happened with oil? Oil went to you know, minus 20. Next, it could go to minus 20, it's possible. I mean, I haven't seen it, but it's, anything could happen, right? We've seen crazy things happen. Um, so, um, the, the, the market theme is, is lukewarm. So I would say, you know what, I, the, it's, it's a lukewarm. So I'd give it maybe a three because it's not a hot theme. So normally, you know, I'm looking for stocks which are dirt cheap and all of a sudden the theme is hot. It's a brand new stock. And it's, a, this is, this is, we're in a bear market. Let's be real. We're in a bear market for the last two years with stocks, right? So the, the theme is, is lukewarm, but it, you know, the trigger we're looking for, the catalyst is Apple, and we know, we know, we know that they will be dropping the glasses. How? Because Jason Calacanis, the Apple insider, the, the insider has spilled the beans. He has revealed he's got the inside scoop from developers who are working inside of Apple uh, on the apps already for the glasses. So it's happening. It's going to be happening. When that drops, the theme is going to go from a 3 to a 20. That's right. That AR theme is going to go right now. It's a three, which is like you know, Luke, not even lukewarm. It's like uh, it's it's cool. It's pretty cool. It's not not ice cold, but it's cool. But it's going to go from a three to like a twenty in the space of uh, of a couple of weeks. 
So you want to own next tech when Apple announces the glass. Now, I'm, again, I'm not saying buy the stock, but I'm saying if there's ever, ever any time to own the stock, it is to own it before Apple announces those AR glasses. Because when they do announce it, I believe the market's going to reprice the stock very, very quickly. Okay. Uh, what, what else am I looking for? I'm looking for number eight. By the way, we're going to wrap up. We've got three more to go. Number eight, the chart. Okay. So um, I'm looking for a good technical picture. I want to see a big double bottom. Okay. And um, a big wide base. And I want to see a stock breaking out of the 50 and 200 day moving average. Guess what? Next tech is, is doing exactly that. If you look at the chart, you look at the weekly chart, the daily chart, uh, the stock is has a big, massive, wide base. Uh, from the from it's a three year wide base basically right with a massive double bottom three year wide double bottom the stock is broken out of the 50 and the 200 moving average also on the weekly charts actually I got to look at the weekly right because we're, we're already one day here. I haven't I haven't looked at the weekly I'm sorry I haven't looked at it today uh, but we're above the 50 and the 200 day moving average and by the way the moving averages forget forget about my opinion whatever it is about charts whatever it is that is absolute the moving average is the absolute math when you have the moving when you have a stock above the 50 and the 200 it's very bullish also the golden cross uh when the stock when the 50 crosses above the 200 yeah anyway bottom line is if you look at next tech you look at a you look at a, a three-year chart of next tech you look at the stock every time it's gone above the 50 and the 200 moving average what is the, the stock done and the answer is the stock has exploded it's exploded the stock has gone up between you know 4x and like 8x or 10x every time. So I believe it's going to happen right now. Now look, again, we're in a bear market, so it's a massive tailwind that's pushing back against all these stocks. The bear market is a tailwind. Uh, excuse me, not a tailwind. It's a headwind. It's a headwind. It's a headwind. It's going towards you. So the bear market is a big headwind against all stocks. If we were not in a bear market, and next I had everything right now that's going on the stock would be ten dollars right now it's a fact okay my opinion not okay now um number so on, a, on a scale of one to ten for the chart i give it a um i give it a nine the, the reason i'm saying it's a nine and not a ten is because you know because the, the market has been getting beaten up the last week or so the stock has pulled back a little bit we're, we're still above the moving averages but it's pulled back a little bit it's not like you know super momentum and velocity like we had earlier but i you know it could turn any second and, and go back so a uh, chart nine out of ten uh number nine again i'm a little bit biased for number nine but uh, i call it the promo edge very important uh what is the promo edge it's very important that a company promote the story to get the to get eyeballs on the stock because you got to have a massive amount of eyeballs on the stock so that the stock can react so buying can come into a stock when they deliver a news flow, when they deliver on catalyst, and they could you gotta scale up investor audiences. Look, the best story in the world, when it comes to penny stocks, the best story in the world, nobody will know about it unless there is somebody out there promoting the stock or somebody advocating for the stock. That's what they have with Wall Street Reporter. Look, we've done it before, we have a system that works. Uh, so on a, on, a, on a scale of one to 10, again, I'm biased, I give it a 10, I give it, a, maybe a 20, no, I'm gonna give it a 10. Um, okay. Uh, because again, nobody has delivered more. Nobody's produced has a higher track record of success in the let's call it stock promotion than Wall Street Reporter. You know, there's a lot of people who take credit, and a lot of people, uh, a lot of greasy people, uh, especially in Canada, who take credit uh, for some of our winners. But if you look at those charts before Wall Street Reporter got involved, after Wall Street Reporter, look at the OTC. Look what happens when when Wall Street Reporter is not in the picture. You can see who was actually producing the results wall street Reporter was the one that was doing the heavy lifting in, in those cases so yes uh you know look it's a very difficult market now the the reality is it is harder to get results from promotion than it was a year ago but uh compared to everything else there is nobody who's delivering results like wall street Reporter. it's a fact okay so on a scale of one to nine, i give it a 10 i'm biased so maybe you may not believe it but uh uh now uh let's talk about um market conditions this is number 10 it's it's important market conditions it's a factor because we know we know a good market it, it helps to have a positive market uh positive constructive market it doesn't have to be a roaring bull market but you, you need to have a good market because you know, in order to plant these potential 10 bagger seeds you got to have receptive soil right 
So right now, the soil is not very good, the market. I think the market's gonna keep going down for another maybe month or so. NASDAQ is looking pretty rough. Uh, it's, a bit, it's, a, it's a pretty brutal bear market. It is gonna bottom out, I believe, probably by February. We're at, we're at the bottom here, but a lot of these stocks, especially the micro caps, will turn in advance of that. So uh, don't wait for the market to bottom out. In my opinion, again, not advice. Uh, so it helps to have a positive market. For market conditions, I would give it a, oof, I would give it a two. I would give it a two. No, I would even give it a, I don't even know what to give because this is a, a brutal, brutal bear market. Tech stocks are down 90%. Last time I saw this uh, was uh, 2002, 20 years ago after the dot-com uh, bust. You know, these stocks crashed, but we all know what happened. They bottomed out and all of a sudden, boom, like that, they all went up overnight. Um, and and the, the bellwethers, the ones who are leading, the ones who are like, you know, keeping the pace, those were the stocks fastest out of the gate. Those were the ones that went up the most. The guys who were like, you know, not delivering results, the ones who weren't promoting, a lot of those stocks never recovered. So that's why right now you need to keep your eye on the stocks that are number one, delivering results, relentless, relentless, not only delivering results in terms of news flow, everything else, but in terms of promotion, engaging with investors. Why? Because those stocks will be the first out of the gate when the market finally stabilizes and we can see those things explode. Because again, I remember 2002 after the, you know, 2003 after the, actually shit, it was 2003 that things really started running. So after the the, the, the dot-com bust, it was horrible. It was like, it was, it was actually maybe worse than this, but yeah, stocks were down 90%, whatever. Um, and uh, all of a sudden the, the leaders exploded. They all went up like, you know, 5X, 10X within a couple of months once once the thing bottomed out. I think it's gonna happen again. So keep your eye on next deck. Again, this should be considered paid content because they are client of Wall Street Reporter. So again, do your own due diligence. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below and I'll see you on our next live stream. Again, pick up the book, 10 Bagger Blueprint, so you can learn how to find 10 baggers, 100 baggers. Look, I'm not making this stuff up. Read the book, read the book, okay? This book will show you everything I know, it reveals. It's all, you know, all the secrets are revealed. I will show you exactly what it takes for a stock to become a 10 bagger or a 100 bagger. 10 bagger blueprint will change your life. I guarantee it. Guys, look, I get emails from investors all the time who thank me for introducing them to these stocks, which went up a thousand to even 5,000% or more. And again, creating a life changing wealth. For example, look, I just got this card with a box of Davidoff Grand Cru number five cigars, a $200 box of cigars. This is what these guys wrote me. Uh, they got into a stock that was a nickel about two years ago. It was a nickel. It went to $2.50 in about four months. It was a 5,000% run in a period of four months. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Millions, millions of dollars were made uh, in that run. Now guys, um, that stock, it went from a nickel to 250 and you know where it is today that's right it went back down to a nickel because the company you know they hit a couple of road bumps now if you had this book 10 bag of blueprint you would have known the signals to get in right as it was breaking out from that nickel level and went to get out because there was a sell signal which which the markets gave us right when that stock was in that dollar fifty two dollar range you may not have gotten at the last 250 but you would have made 30 probably 40 times your money um, now I believe in the next couple of months, we're gonna see massive, massive opportunities like this. Again, generational wealth opportunities where you can make 10 times, even 100 times your money. This is gonna be a major, major bull market opportunity, which is gonna start very, very shortly. You need to get this book to be prepared. Now, one of the stocks which I believe could be one of the biggest winners of the new bull market is a company called Next Tech. This is a company that is in the business of AR, augmented reality, which is gonna be one of the hot themes of 2023. Apple AR Glass is gonna be coming out. This is a stock that already increased 1,200%. The last time we introduced it, it went from 50 cents to $7.50. I believe it's gonna happen again. Now, I made a little video for you, so watch the video, which is gonna follow right after, and let me know what you think. Make sure you get this book, 10 Bagger Blueprint on Amazon. Make sure you leave a nice review if you like the book. Look. I think you will because it's gonna change your life. It's gonna help you, it's gonna help your family, it's gonna help you probably your great grandchildren from the wealth that you could create in the next couple of months.